Let's address what we just heard from Vice President Harris in the very important state of Pennsylvania as we wait for her first formal news conference, which has not happened yet, almost two months after President Biden dropped out and she became the nominee. Well, let's bring in Kellyanne Conway, former senior counselor to President Trump, now president of KA Consulting and a Fox News contributor, and Patrick Murphy, former Pennsylvania Democratic congressman, Iraq war veteran, and former Army undersecretary. Welcome to both of you. Good to have you both here. Um, I want to start by actually playing a comparison of the first question that this group asked former President Trump and then the first question that was asked today to the Vice President Harris. Watch this. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. You've had dinner with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? A question that has been asked of you and everybody that's on the Democratic side is whether or not voters are better off now than they were four years ago. Are they better off now than they were four years ago? OK, um, Kelly, in your reaction to the, the first question out of the gate for both of those candidates. It was pretty typical. I found the vice president to be a little condescending, if not rude, to the moderators today when they dare push her to actually answer the question that they asked, and they had every right to ask, including we saw probably 30 minutes ago Martha and Patrick, a question about handguns. Mm -hmm. um, she wanted to talk about assault weapons. The moderator tried to get her back to talk about handguns. She doesn't like that, and I think Kamala Harris takes the media for granted the way she takes for granted you know, hardcore Democrats who have never voted any other way, who are excited about her candidacy and wearing her hats, buttons, and shirts. She already feels like she has those constituencies. So she feels like she can bat the media around a little bit and bend them to her will. Look, it went down from there with President Trump when he went for that interview last week, last month. And I, I think that these moderators lose an opportunity to ask questions that people are asking around the kitchen tables, over the water cooler, over the cappuccino counters. And we heard some of that today. But um, even, I mean, her answers were worse than the questions. I, I, I know at least two of those journalists. I think they tried hard. But, but the fact is, her answers were terrible. See, she sometimes talks like a Hallmark card, and not even the kind that sings when you open it. What is this nonsense about she's, Patrick, she's going to give people, she's going to build cars. She's forcing us to buy electric vehicles. Will the kitchen be in the carburetor? Will the bedroom be in the back seat? I mean, they, she's done nothing to help. Build Back Better gave half a trillion dollars plus to clean energy and climate stuff. It wasn't about building homes for people. So I think the last part of what President Trump said during the debate stage last week is the most important. And these journalists were echoing it today. You've been there for three and a half years. You haven't done any of this. We have very little faith that you can do it in the future. All right, Patrick, your reaction to what you saw there today and to Kellyanne's criticism that she is speaking in, in Hallmark card phrases. Well, Martha, thanks. I mean, first, Kelly's complaining about the moderators today. I mean, it's just like the moderators at the debate. That when you lose, you want to complain about the refs and the, and the rules. The reality of it is, is yeah, they, they were a little hard on, on President Trump. Uh, yeah, but, well, th but you're saying, though, that it wasn't fair in the questions because they hit President Trump saying, hey, why should we trust you? You're asking for a vote because President Trump spent years and years and years saying that Barack Obama wasn't really an American citizen, asking where his birth certificate was. We know his background. And so that was a very fair first question. And Kellyanne, the question on, on, on the handguns, you understand two weeks ago on picture day, four kids, the 45th gun violence in schools, the 45th schools, four more young kids, two kids, two teachers killed in Georgia two weeks ago. We got to crack down again. I'm a gun it's owner. Terrible. I served in combat twice. It is terrible. And that's why we can do something more about it. And we need to do it in a bipartisan way. There should be no reason, Kellyanne, as you know, there was a 14 year old kid that brought an AR-15 to his school in Georgia. I mean, if you want an AR-15 in America, she didn't talk about that. Join the military or, well, or go or get. She did talk about it, Kelly. And you're talking, saying that she was no, like a she Hallmark card. She didn't. No, she she's serious. She's a heart attack. She, yeah. she, she, she said that she's a handgun owner. 
Well, you were in combat. Excuse me, you were in combat. You, you served this country admirably. You were the undersecretary and you had an official position in the Army. You've served in the Army. That woman's ready to be commander in chief. She lied last week and said there's nobody, Absolutely. there's not a single service member out there. That was a lie. We had service members fact checking mm -hmm. her in real time. She, These young mm -hmm. men and brave women. Yeah, I, I mean, there was a, a video of somebody service who members who reacting to that when she said it. Country. And they were like, what are we doing here? Um, it, it, you know, <laughs> they're, they're, um, in combat right, locations. Right. All right. And, and can we, I, and, and Mark, super they, quick. Uh, I'm so respond. sorry Real to keep quick. you guys tight, but we there, have some breaking news coming up. There's 170,000 troops. There, there's over 190,000 troops in over 170 foreign countries, right? Yes. A lot of them are in harm's way. A lot of them doing combat operations. That's right. Her point was, we're not in major at war in Iraq or Afghanistan. That was her point. She's not lying. That's so not come what on. she said. Be right. for real. We got to leave it there. That's not Kelly what she said. And she's not the one who gave pay raise to the military. She's not the one who got the VA Choice Act passed so yeah, that these they, veterans they aren't put on hold. These amputees are put on hold. They actually got right. care. To be continued. Kelly, Kellyanne Conway, right. thank you. Patrick Murphy, as always, thank you. We've got 50 days to go. Have a great day. And a lot more to discuss as we get closer to America making a very big decision on November 5th, and voting starts uh, any day. In some places, people are getting their ballots already. Thank you both. Great to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.